be brutally honest. Stogrex Earthshade. And it's just Stogrex Earthshade on the back. That's all I want to do on the shield at the moment. That part is going to be slightly different. If, yeah, that part is going to be slightly different, so I'm going to say I don't want to be doing too much on that. Using Steel Legion Drab. All of that is the um, what do you call it? The uh, necromantic energy, shall we say? But this is. Um, just the ground they stood on. So it's going to tie in with all the with the sand when I put that on, which I've done on the wraiths and I've done on the zombies so far. As you can see, I'm bringing the zombie train, um, all covered in the sand. I'll be going over the sand in this Steel Legion Drab. I'm going to have to get a new base sorted out and I'm going to have to get the other zombies painted. But once that's done, we'll be ready to go. So I'm hoping I can get it all done before Friday. It's now Saturday night, the uh, so Sunday, Sunday morning, the 3rd of August. Um, I so said my brain is beginning to switch off, so, so we've done our in fact that is finished that is dried. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hope I hope what I'm gonna do A little spot of the yellow on there. Get my dry brush. And Picking out the details here, you'll see things that you didn't see before, and like for instance, what looks like to be a skeletal hand. If you didn't see that when I painted it, I'll go back over it in a minute. The There's a scoundrel hand, we're going to have to go back over that and...
Hmm. I quite like that. That's him done. That's him done. I'm going to call him finished. That's it. All we have to do now is, as I say, that scout on hand. That's going to be. do that we'll have the wash to that we will dry brush that as well there we are and now it's just a case of getting that based up Applying the Agroxil shade wash to that should be dry by now, so let's get it done. So the shade wash to so the back here and the then we'll come back to that. It'll be based up, all the sand will be on it and we'll be ready to go. Right, I'm thinking of doing a little bit more to Morgoth because he's looking way too black. So what I'm thinking of doing is A little bit of colour on this part here. Not so much coloured, but just something to bring it out a little bit more. And what I'm thinking of is using, um, oops, Dawnstone. We'll use Dawnstone and we'll use a little bit of wherever the hell you are. Um, <laughs> about Abaddon Black. Just a spot of this to make it just a slight bit darker than normal. Okay, there we are. And we'll just touch in along the top of the armor there, and a little bit there. That should do us. I said, just break it up a little bit, that's all. Nothing too drastically. There we are. Ta -da. And that's it. Right, this is the guy we're going to finish off now, isn't it? So what we're going to do is um, a bit of runefang steel once I find it. There we are. And that will go on the pallet there. We don't want much. We don't want much at all. We want to get quite a bit of it off the brush. And it's just gently on all the metal areas. And 
a gentle stroke on the metal areas um, and that's it for the Runefang steel so far that's it for the Runefang steel there will be more to come we haven't finished with it yet <laughs> okay so I said everywhere there's metal those rune fang steel. We're getting to the stage where now we can show you the uh, what I do with the shields, but not quite yet. Not quite yet. Haha. -ha. I'm just feeling a bit feeling a bit adventurous with these models. To be honest, I'm doing things I've never done before. And what I do with the shield, um, the chances are I've not done it as well as it could be done, but I'm doing it to the way I want to do it. There's probably a better way or an easier way of getting achieved the effect I want, but yeah, I'm doing it my way to, to start off with, get comfortable in doing it, and then you can start off doing other people's theories. Right, so that's that done. Next what I want to do is with the Evil Sun Scarlet. We want some of that. In fact we don't want that much. We want some of that on our palette. We want some not Rhinox Hide, we want some of the other stuff. Where are you? There you are. We want some Dryad Bark mixed in with it. Just to change the colour somewhat because now it's just a case of where the light's going to hit. If you think it's going it's pointing that way, so the light's coming down is going to hit it on this side, it's not going to hit underneath. So that's what we're going to be doing with that. As I said, that's why I didn't want so much red. Next, what we're going to be doing is with the Gene Steeler Purple. This again is going to be another dry brush situation, but for most cases, but here we can just paint on. But now we've got the. Now we can just. Do gently dry brush over where we want it to go and this is the highlight colour we go with what I was doing for or what I want what I've been doing with the other um, skeleton shields I'm going to move these away for a second because I need some space some masking tape knife That bit we don't want. That bit we don't want. Okay. That bit we don't want. And that bit we don't want. What am I doing? What am I doing? Any ideas? Okay, so what first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put some of the masking tape across the shield like so. Next, what I'm going to be doing, oops, 
don't want to do that one, never mind. In fact, no, I'm going to leave it at that because I'm going part beyond myself. It's because that's not what I've done with the others. Next, what I want to do is using Calador Sky. A little touch on the palette. Water, because I want this fairly watery. Only fairly watery, not very watery. We don't want it like ink, but we want it quite light. And we'll just go straight down straight down there and we'll go on the edge as well. Things will change, I'm telling you now, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to colour that in as well and then we want the back doing okay so that's what we've done so far while we're waiting for that to dry we will get the Gucci eye violet out when I can find it come on where are you Gucci eye violet where are you come on show yourself come out come out wherever you are oh it's down here <laughs> <laughs> it's down here on the table, it's no wonder I couldn't find this in the box. So we've got the Drew Chow Violet. What am I going to do with this? I'm going to go over all the metal of the armour. Only the armour. I'm not going to do the metal on the uh, spear shaft. Or the spearhead rather. It's just going to be a purple look to the armour. That includes helmet. My hand's shaky a little today. This could be good, could be bad. Don't know as yet. I need to take that paper or that tape away from the helmet. Right. And we want a bit on the armband there, like so. Now, this should be dry enough to remove there we are we have a blue stripe now what we're going to be doing is over that blue stripe we are going to be putting another piece of masking tape I'm going to move that so I don't knock it over and this piece of masking tape is going to go exactly where the blue stripe in fact what I'm going to do, just to be on the safe side, is a little bit more on the um, a little bit more of the blue, I think, just to be on the safe side. There we are. So we'll wait for that for we'll wait for that to dry. I will find a area where I'm not going to be knocking the camera every time I move. And it's just basically one edge. We want the straight edges. Um, Okay, so now what we have is the blue dried, so we'll put the masking tape on where the blue paint has been put applied, like so. I know we're going over the part of the blue, but that doesn't matter because we want it going corner to In fact, that's corner to corner is not correct, is it? Looking at some of the other 
Oh, it is. I thought it was uh, a little bit of damage on it. It's not. It is actually cor the correct shape for the thing. So, bit of glue on my finger there. Let's get that off before I start doing wrong things with it. Okay, next. Evil Sun Skeleton. Again, a spot of that on the palette. Bit of water. We don't want it too thick because we're going to get a ridge if we have it too thick. We want it thick enough to spread, thick enough to cover the blue, but not thick enough to actually form a ridge at the edge of the tape. There we are. That's that done. We'll give that a couple of seconds to dry. Um, I will go along here now with the red even though I know we've got more colours to go on this um, now you can see my pants shaking okay so that's how we're looking so far when this dries we're going to be putting another piece of um, tape over on the opposite diagonal um, but looking at some of this area we can get going with highlighting again the um, the metal part of the armour a lot of it we won't be touching with the highlights but it's just a few bits here and the that we're going over Like so, the helmet. Um, very minor things like that. And that's it. That's all we're doing for that. Next, we have hopefully a dry shield we have so we'll take a piece of tape we'll put it on this <laughs> we'll put it on this side corner to corner And this time we'll put this one on corner to corner. Because I want to do like a Harlequin effect on this. And for this colour we're going to be using Warboss Green only a small amount of colour is going on and that's just all over the blue like so And that is that part. I just want to add that to the like so. And 
I'll go over with purple. And once I've gone over this with purple, I'm going to have to go over it again with purple because it's not sticking with to the red. There we are. As I said, things will change. So we have red, blue, green and purple on the shields. I said I was trying to go to tie everything together in regards to the blueness of the wraiths as the military, the zombies and the ghouls aren't really um, but the skeletons and the wraiths are like soldiers, the military um, so they would need to have the the uniform. So I'll just take that off and let's see if we can take that off without smudging or... there we are. And there's the shield which match the other shield and all the shields for the skeletons I've done exactly the same way. Um, what I will do in a few moments is I'll tear up that edge there and then I will go over with appropriate coloured um, washes. So I'll use Drakenhof Nightshade for the blue area, Carolberg Crimson for the red. Um, there is a green one I've got which I can't remember the name of. And obviously Druchar Violet on the purple area. There we are. So that's sorted out. What we have to do, what I'm do now is I'll find all the, the ones I'll be using. So I've got Druchar Violet for the purple. Uh, we have Carolberg Crimson for the red area. We have Drakenhof Nightshade for the blue area. And that's not like that, go like that. I'm looking for one with a black lid. This doesn't have a black lid. This is Kelia Orkham Flesh. Or, sorry, Kelia Green Shade. Why am I saying Orkham Flesh? That's what it looks like in the camera. Kelia Green Shade. <coughs> we'll use that on the green. <coughs> now, how's that dried? It doesn't feel tacky, feels quite smooth. So let's just do. Do it. So, being incredibly, incredibly careful doing this, he says with very shaky hands, it's Drakenhof Nightshade on the blue. One done. It's Gucci Eye Violets on the purple. I'm doing the bigger bigger ones first. And I'm doing the ones if I switch 
shift that out of my way then I've got something to lean on and I'm not all that fussed if they do bleed in together because it would give it that extra something to the shield next it's the Carolberg Crimson for the red because the idea is we want to try and make this look weathered, worn, bashed about a bit And finally we have the Aquilia Green Shade, or is it Aquilia Green Shade, Aquila Canth, it would be Aquilia wouldn't it? And that's just a little tickle out the bottom, but that's another story. <laughs> Here we go. There's the shield, there's the skeleton, there's the spear, that's it, that's all we need to do. Next it's a case of sanding the base, but I haven't done that with any of the other skeletons as yet, so I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to take it off there and put it to one side to dry, and I will say as, al as always, take care, God bless, and bye for now.